Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. I hope your little ones have been busy learning and having fun. I don't know about you, but we sure are ready for springtime. So for this week, I put together some sunflower themed hands-on activities for my grandson. And as usual, I will be sharing some free printables with all of my subscribers. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment and tell me where you're watching us from. And please don't forget to give this video a like. I have picked several books for this week. One of them is this one, Flowers by Gail Gibbons. I really, really love her books and I love the illustrations. So we will be reading Flowers by Gail Gibbons. I'm also reading this book, a seed grows we have sunflower house by e button bunting to be like the sun then i have a few others here this is the sunflower i like this book too it's got beautiful illustrations and it doesn't have a lot of print so this is perfect for preschoolers this one is called sunflower and it's about a little girl that goes around and she plants some sunflower seeds. Really cute. This one is one of our favorites, Mortimer's First Garden. It's about a little mouse. It's super cute. And my grandson really, really likes this book. It's in the garden with Van Gogh. So we are going to be using these books throughout the week. I'm using this printable. This is from kidssoup.com. I really like this printable. I've used it before with Joshua Diego. It has the parts of the flower. It's labeled root, stem, leaf, seeds, petals, and then this is the flower. They also offer this printable where you can have your child label the parts of the flower. So you just cut these and then your child would label the flower. Roots, stem, leaf, seeds, and we explained that the seeds are in here, petals, and this is the flower. This is a free printable from kidssoup.com. To reinforce our lesson on the parts of the flower, I'm using this flower. This is actually a pin from the dollar store I put some yarn at the bottom, that's the roots, and I added two leaves here. So we are going to talk about the parts of the flower using this manipulative that I put together. I put together this sensory bin for Joshua Diego. I have some black beans, I have something to scoop them up with. I have these little flowers. This is a free printable. It's got letters A through Z. So for this lesson, I'm only using the B, the C, and the letter S. I have some manipulatives that he's going to sort, and we're working with a beginning letter sound. So he would do something like this, bear, Cupcake, button, and he can use his little fingers or he can use something to scoop up the manipulatives. I have little mini erasers. This is a sun, so sun begins with the letter S. Car. 
crab. B and so on. So this is how we're going to be using his sensory bin throughout the week. Again, I made this for him. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. Another thing that we're doing this week, we are going to make a sunflower. We're using a paper plate. We're using some acrylic paints. We're using a brush. We're going to paint the outside yellow and the inside brown. I like to do one color and let it dry and then I'll have him do the other color. So we're gonna do that. Once it dries, I'm going to mark it with a pencil, mark it here. Then he's going to use his scissors and he's going to cut it. He's going to cut all around. Then we're going to hot glue a popsicle stick and he's going to glue some of this sunflower seeds in the middle. So that is what we will be doing this week. A couple of things I found at the dollar store to use with this lesson. I found these little flowers. They're so cute. So we already started painting these. Joshua Diego has had so much fun painting these. And so what I'm going to do with him is we're going to play tic-tac-toe using some of the little flowers that we have been painting. These are from the dollar store. I paid $1.25 and there's a whole bunch of these. You can actually use this little tray to play tic-tac-toe here. I also found this flower. It's like a little made out of wood. And he's already started painting this. We let it dry and then tomorrow he's going to paint the inside using the brown and then when that dries, we're going to use some black and then just put some dots here. So this is also from the dollar store. If you have a dollar store close to you, maybe you can look for these and have your child just paint the sunflower and have lots of fun. In this tray I put several activities that I'm going to be doing this week. 
This one is an I can count and graph. Now, if your child is already counting and if he's already sorting, then you can start graphing. This is an easy graph activity. I created this printable. I put uh, some sunflowers here, sun, a packet of seeds, some flower pots, and some watering cans. Then I put them at the bottom here. So what we're going to do is we're going to count how many watering cans. One, two. So then what your child can do is either use a manipulative or use a pencil and check, okay, one, two, put a check mark here. Then let's look for the suns, how many suns? There's one, two, three, four, and again, if you wanna use a manipulative, you can do that. If you wanna laminate the page for durability, you can use it over and over. So the watering can, we had one, two, so we would use a manipulative one, two. And then we would do the same thing with the sun. We would count the suns. We have one, two, three, four. And then we would use our manipulative here. Okay, that's four. So let's put four of these. One, two, three, and four. And we would do that with all of them. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. For this next activity, I created this printable. I have some flowers. There's a number on each flower. And it's a number quantity activity. We're going to be using some of these snap cubes but you can use whatever manipulative you have. So for one, we're going to put one, there's two. So we'll get two of the snap cubes and do that. This one is three, so we're gonna do three. One, two, three. And we would do that with all of the flowers. If you don't have some snap cubes, you can use pom-poms. There's some pony beads. I have this uh, little mini racers. So whatever you have, you can use uh, black beans. Whatever you have at home will work. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. I put together, I took a picture of this. It's a flower, and so we're using our pattern blocks. What we're going to do is look at our picture and form a flower using our pattern blocks. Now, if your child doesn't have some pattern blocks, you can print this page. You can print a couple of them and have your child cut them and then work with these pattern blocks. I also offer this printable in black and white and your little one can just color the pattern blocks and then work on the flower. This next activity is a number quantity activity. I created this printable I have some sunflowers from 1 through 10. I have a number on the inside. I cut these and then I glued them to a popsicle stick. So this is a number quantity activity. I'm using some sunflowers, seeds that we're going to be using as our manipulative. So we're going to look at the number inside the flower, that's one. So we're gonna place one of the sunflower seeds, one. This one is two, so we would get two, one, two. Then we would do three, four, five, 
like I said, they're 1 through 10. This is a free printable. I'll go ahead and link it below. Another activity we're going to be doing this week is we're going to make some little sunflowers. We're using an egg carton. We're going to cut here about this much. So it's going to look like this. Then we're going to use our scissors and we're going to cut around to look like this. When we're done cutting, we're going to use some of our acrylic paints and we're going to paint the middle brown. I'm going to let that dry then we're going to paint the outside yellow and then when we're done with that when it all dries we are going to put the little sunflowers on some construction paper. We're going to glue them here and we're going to make our own Van Gogh picture. Again, using things that you may already have around your house and just making learning fun. For this next activity, I'm using a set of printables. This is from Life Overseas. You need to go and get the printables yourselves. Um, she offers numbers 1 through 10. I really like them. They have a sunflower and then there's this border with all these cute sunflowers. There's a 10 frame over here. This is a Play-Doh mat, so we're going to work with these. I went ahead and laminated mine. So we're going to roll our Play-Doh. We're going to place the Play-Doh and form the number. So here's the number seven. Then we're going to use a manipulative. I'm using these little bees, and so we're going to use the 10 frame at the bottom and count seven of the little bees. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I like that she also offers the word for the number seven. To reinforce the lesson, you can use a different manipulative. I'm using beans and we're going to place them on the inside of the flower, like it's the little seeds, and we're going to count to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is a fun activity to practice number quantity and the printable is from Life Overseas. To reinforce our lesson on sunflowers, we're going to be using some Play-Doh that we already had. We're using this cookie cutter and we're going to make some sunflowers. We're also going to use some of our black beans and we're going to put them like the little seeds of the sunflower. For this next activity, I'm using this rubbing plates. These are from the dollar store. These are flowers and it comes with three different ones. They come in a package like this. This one has some different kinds of leaves and there's three of them for a dollar. So we're going to use this one, the one with a sunflower, using just a plain sheet of paper, a crayon. And so what we're going to do is just going to rub like this 
and then we're going to get the flower on our paper so it's going to look something like this I'm using this manipulative. I found this in Amazon. It comes with 16 little pieces. It has four pieces for the life cycle of plants. It comes with four pieces for the life cycle of a butterfly. I really like the little pieces. They look very realistic. And it also comes with eight little flowers and the flowers look very realistic. So I'm going to be using this for Joshua Diego. I'm using a paper plate and I just divided it into four pieces. I wrote root, sprout, baby plant, and seeds over here. So we're going to place the pieces here, seed, roots. I like this because when we plant, our little seeds we cannot really see inside to see what the roots look like so I really like this so this is roots and then this is sprout and this is the baby plant and then of course we would have the sunflower so I'm using these pieces to work with Joshua Diego this week We're also going to be planting some sunflower seeds. I'm using this little seed starter pots. There's 10 of them and I picked this up at Dollar Tree. They also have sunflower seeds that you can plant and the little packages are four for a dollar this one I had already picked up at Walmart this were 144 so we're going to use a bag of potting soil this is also from the dollar store we're going to have something to scoop up the dirt and we're going to plant some little sunflower seeds I have a watering can so my grandson is going to plant some seeds and then we're going to water our little seeds and then we're going to keep them inside because it still has been cold here so probably for another month we will keep them inside and then go outside and plant them outside so that is what we will be doing for this activity enjoy the activities and ideas I had for you today. I hope you will be blessed. Thank you all so much for watching our video and I'll see you next time.